NewNet is a 20-year-old company, 20-year-plus company. It started off as uh, EBS, and then it became NewNet Communications Technologies. Mm -hmm. And uh, prior to the WiMAX Business Unit acquisition, the company was in the business of providing SS7 software protocol stacks and network signaling protocol stacks. Mm -hmm. It also provided um, a messaging platform product line, mm -hmm. and about less than a year ago, um, NewNet acquired the WiMAX business unit from Motorola and NSN, mm -hmm. and the acquisition was closed in February 3rd, 2012. And uh, you know, I my name is PJ Lewis, mm -hmm. and I'm the CEO of the company, and I joined the company one month ago. Oh. All right? <laughs> I, I'm a turnaround professional, All right. and I've been in the telecommunications and turnaround business for about 32 years. Okay. And I was brought on board by Skyview Capital, which is a Beverly Hills-based private equity firm mm -hmm. who owns uh, NewNet Communication Technologies. Mm -hmm and I was asked to merge and integrate the two companies. That is the NSN Motorola unit with the traditional part of NewNet okay. and form one single company. Um, the companies comprise of two business units. Um, one is the broadband wireless business unit, all right, which contains the WiMAX business unit of Motorola and NSN. And the other business unit is telecommunications applications, which is run by um, Angela Ledford. She's the executive vice president of operations and general manager of the business unit. And um, in the last month, we've actually taken steps to effectively relaunch the company. All right. um, I think that uh, we're the hottest news at CTIA 2012 because we are you know we sell broadband wireless solutions we sell telecommunication application solutions which include uh, our mercury media messaging platform and our Traxcom secure financial transaction processing system okay in addition we have our broadband wireless business unit which uh, is selling WiMAX but uh, the in, in regard to WiMAX, because I think that's why you're here, yeah, yeah. we're developing a path to LTE. We will be selling TD LTE. And our goal is to launch the product line this year. Well, obviously, you have some experience in the telecom space. What, uh, kind of, I guess, looking from the outside in at Midnight, yourself what's what do you see as what kind of drew you to, to, to take on this challenge but obviously you know it seems like you have a little bit of work cut out for you guys but well we have a work cut out for us it's this this if if anybody could do it it'd be easy right <laughs> You know, uh, right. Uh, the reality is that I'm a huge proponent of WiMAX. I've always believed it was a 4G technology um, uh, and, and I've said so over the last six or seven years. Mm -hmm. I've said it in uh, public fora, articles, um, and I do believe it is a 4G technology. I'm not saying that LTE is not. Mm -hmm. In fact, I actually think if you look at this environment today, it's, it's a, a filled with a plethora of different types of data, broadband technologies. It's a heterogeneous environment. Mm -hmm. I think that WiMAX and LTE can exist side by side. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it will continue to exist side by side for years to come. Now our company, it, it, and I'll talk about WiMAX for now and I'll let Angela speak to, uh, to the telecom application yeah. side. But in regard to our WiMAX, our broadband wireless business unit, what we've done in the last month is, is, is meet with our existing customers to ensure that they understand that we are here to continue supporting their WiMAX goals and objectives and that we are developing an LTE strategy, a product line that in the event they want to migrate to LTE, we will be there to support them. All right? Now we do have customers right now in the United States and around the world where we're in fact they 
do want to migrate to LTE, but not right away. They don't want to be pushed into it by the larger carriers or the larger vendors. Now, I didn't say this before, but you know, new net communication technologies is actually operating in, we have 40 customers operating in 27 different countries right now. And so we're a global company. So one of the things I've done during my first month is to ensure our existing customer base that we're here. We're, we're stabilizing the company and we're on a path to growth. Uh, the next thing we've done is develop some new business strategies for both business units where we're going to move the company forward down broadband wireless and down a path of applications which includes transaction processing and, and uh, media messaging as well. So uh, we've taken a very aggressive stance and, and I'm looking at no later than the end of June 2012 to have made some significant inroads with developing new technology partnerships and signing up new customers. Uh, the telecom applications yeah. business unit uh, is covering the core products of secure transaction processing. Yeah. Uh, that product was acquired by uh, Skyview Capital okay. and uh, it came from 3Com uh, UT Starcom. Okay. Uh, actually uh, U U.S. Robotics really is where it all came from. Okay. And, uh, and then the uh, Mercury platform is our mobile multimedia application platform mm -hmm. that was acquired by a Netherlands company uh, called Triple Media. Mm -hmm. So both of those products, we are launching those uh, to the carriers okay. to be revenue generating applications okay. in their space. Uh, today, we already uh, play in the carrier space for transaction processing uh -huh. um, with some of the major carriers, and we're looking now to move to the mobile side of the house and offer mobile payments. Okay. Well, obviously, that was a big <coughs> talk at the shows, and a lot of talk, and a mass a big announcement on that. So oh, like yeah. Those segments, that's, it seems like it's been promised for a long time. Right. Do you, do you guys finally see We finally that see, traction? exactly. Okay. So we've been working on the IP secure platform uh, for about three years now, and it was a little bit before its time. But now, you know, we've had some successful installations this year. We've had some uh, press releases with Skyband and with Cielo mm -hmm. and uh, Elevon, and uh, as far as even in Asia mm -hmm. with, uh, with Nets. Mm -hmm. So we've had some successful uh, launches of the product. We're moving it into the mobile space. Uh, we're partnering with Mobile Wallet mm -hmm. uh, uh, partners as well as uh, uh, NFC mm -hmm. partners to build out an ecosystem. Uh, we're also looking at offering uh, trusted services management mm -hmm. so we can supply the infrastructure and allow multiple acquirers and, and carriers to utilize our systems mm -hmm. to transact uh, payments. I mean, well, you know, you're, you're looking at the broadband wireless side as, as a transmission medium, okay. all right? And you're looking at our, as an example, our Traxcom Secure platform. We're, we're moving into mobile payments. We can support um, y, our WiMAX customers in that regard, those carries that want to do this. We're looking at also working with corporate customers as well. So there's an opportunity there. Okay. I mean, right now I think what you find is that in the mobile payment space or mobile commerce space, mm -hmm. the business models are still in a state of flux. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so this is an opportunity for us. You know, we've, mm -hmm. got, we've got the platforms, we have the tools, we have the products. All we have to do is work with our customers to find the right business model that'll support them and us.